When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand Stand by me Stand by me If the sky that we look upon Should tumble and fall Welcome! And thank you for coming today to celebrate Christina and Sam from as far away as California and France. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Rosa and Sam and I have been friends since seventh grade. We have celebrated many life milestones together. His bar mitzvah, the first Patriots Super Bowl, many late nights at Wesleyan, countless Thanksgivings and Christmases. It was at Thanksgiving on Cape Cod five years ago that Sam first mentioned Christina. From the very beginning, it was so clear how smitten he was with her, how much fun they had together, and how excited he was for the future. Fast forward to today, I've seen their relationship blossom. I've gotten to know and adore Christina, and I'm convinced of how well they fit each other. Like many of you, I've tasted the incredible food they cook together, I've envied their world travels, and I've seen them support each other through years of MDs and PhDs. <laughs> In some respects, they are very similar. They are open-hearted and loving. They are endlessly adventurous. They enjoy very long walks and even longer runs. <laughs> and they are both science nerds with a passion for rep. I'd be lying if I implied they were exactly the same. One is definitely more neurotic than the other. <laughs> but they complement each other in countless ways. And today I am thrilled and honored to be here as they confirm their love for each other and to celebrate with them and all of you as they start their life together. Now, Rose and Nico, Sam's best couple, will say a few words. If Sam had a catchphrase, it would be, That's incredible! <laughs> and we think that pretty much sums him up. Sam is so excited and curious about the world, and he loves to learn about all the things his friends and family are passionate about. And the result of that is that he knows a considerable amount about any random topic he's ever been curious about. So like, one of the first times I was at Sam's apartment, I complimented him on his rug, and ended up learning the history of Bauhaus architecture. <laughs> In fact, Sam is so excited so often that sometimes Christina has trouble gauging how exciting things actually are. <laughs> uh, so for example, they went to Alinea in Chicago and Sam told her it was like, the best restaurant in the world, it's incredible. Um, but she didn't realize that that was true until she heard it from her friend George. <laughs> At first we thought Christina's catchphrase would be something like, yay, maybe followed by a giggle, but then we thought she would better be captured by a facial expression. <laughs> Christina is so full of so much joy and good humor and a tiny dash of relatable awkwardness. She's so fun and thoughtful. She once planned Sam this insane surprise party where she blindfolded him and then drove him in a minivan full of friends down to this bring your own vodka Russian restaurant that had dinner and a weird show and ended in a dance party. So then you put Sam and Christina together, and you get Samstina. The most beautiful, gangly, fun, <laughs> goofy, caring, creative, ribbon, frugal, and hip-hop loving couple that ever was. Um, they're also the most extreme couple because neither of them knows how to do anything halfway. So a few examples. They're both marathoners and recently crossed the finish line holding hands. They're also just very 
uh, athletic competitors in general. This is maybe not as impressive as a marathon, but they will kick your butt at a three-legged race any day. <laughs> they hosted dinner parties at Sam's apartment, but these weren't just ordinary dinner parties. They were more like feasts that involved multiple courses and a menu written out on Sam's chalkboard door. They also travel extremely, like they go super hard and then go straight back to work. We went to Disney World with them once, which involved staying till closing, sleeping at the airport, and then going back to work the next day. <laughs> they even take costumes seriously. They once came to our Halloween party dressed as Lil Wayne and Eminem. Um, Christina had made herself a grill using her retainer as a scaffold, and she had eyeliner tear tats. And then um, to help transform Sam into Eminem, Christina had helped Sam fuzz and bleach his hair, so he was completely unrecognizable. <laughs> sum up, we love both of your enthusiasm for life, for learning, and most of all, for each other. Keep surprising each other, keep pushing each other, keep laughing at each other. Keep cooking, keep walking everywhere, keep running, keep rapping, keep lino cutting. But most of all, <laughs> but most of all, keep loving each other and letting us all be part. Lewis is going to perform a song. This is Marry Me by Train. And it's from San Forever could never be long enough for me. I feel like I've had long enough with you To get the one now, we won't let them see But there's just one thing left And that the weight has lifted And love has surely shifted my way You are my best friend. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and grow with you. I'll love you when we're together and when we're apart. 
I'll walk everywhere with you, even when I'm too tired to walk anymore. I'll explore the world with you. I promise to share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goal. I promise I will respect you as a person, a partner, and an equal. I promise to respect our differences and to love you and be by your side all the days and nights of our lives. I marry you with no hesitation or doubt, and my commitment to you is absolute. In the darkest night hour, I'll search through the crowd. Your face is all that I see. I'll give you everything. Baby, love me lights out.
Share your first kiss of newlyweds. Congratulations. 